G'day everybody, it's me again. I'm going to have to get this in before it uh, really starts pissing down with rain and I get flooded out here. So uh, I'll be as quick as I can. Um, I got a new toy today, which is this little uh, panel uh, amp uh, voltage meter for AC. It's for mains. It's got a little current transformer in the back. You get in there and see that little current transformer and uh, take some uh, voltage from the line there. Anyway, Rory our oscillator arcing in a jar. I got myself a new bridge rectifier, 35 amps. Even though we're only drawing about ooh, one amp there, because that full scale is uh, five amps. There you go, that's how that works. Nice and pretty, isn't it? Um, lots of volts now. That, that bridge rectifier handles the voltage much nicer, which is good. Oh my. I have flyback smoke. Hmm, I wonder where this is going. Shit, that jar's getting freaking hot. That is probably actually making x-rays now. The voltage is very high. Um, I don't want to pop that jar. I've got to turn this off. I wonder why that transformer is smoking. I've never seen flyback smoke before. Oh, kill it for the moment. Yeah, that smells like bloody winding wire burning. Hmm. Anyway, Jake, you're a legend. I managed to get the bastard working on three turns. I just used a new piece of winding wire and it started working. Maybe I wound it the wrong way, I don't know. I've been playing with inductors. I haven't been able to get any difference from changing them. I wound a couple of my own. I just can't get any difference from the circuit. I've also tried modifying the uh, capacitance of this capacitor here. And I also haven't seemed to have got much. But that's getting warm. Hmm, that's never happened before. Maybe now I actually am pushing more current than I think. But anyway, the main point of this video, oh, very hot jar, um, the main point of this video was to see the new, uh, the new shiny meter, which you have, and uh, I think that's probably going to end up in a little box up on the switchboard up here, and uh, be a permanent display for the bench, be great for diagnostic, um, you know, see if stuff is just, you know, raping the current out of the system, you know, because right now the only way I can do it is with a clamp meter, and it's not really permanent. Um, sometimes I like to have the clamp meter doing something else, and I'd still like to be able to see the main current that I'm that I'm using. So uh, hmm, that's it. Anyway, I think this flyback is uh, getting very close to the end. Oh, ow! That flyback is getting very close to the uh, very close to the end of its service life, I believe. Um, that'd be why it's stressing out this capacitor, I'd say. Transistors are cool, no problems there. Wow, that new bridge rectifier actually runs warm, so I don't know if we're drawing more current than this actually says it is. I'm not sure. I'm sure that shunt is wired correctly. Maybe uh, JCAR have given me the wrong microvolt meter. Maybe this uh, meter isn't full scale at 50 microvolt like the shunt is. Doesn't say anywhere. I don't know. Anyway, if anyone's got any advice, uh, please let me know. I'm going to get out of here now. I'm going to stop playing because... I'm being flooded out. Thanks for watching. More to come soon. And uh, yeah, play it safe, fellas.